Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode of r slash Insane People Facebook. So proud of my youngest. She was in line for lunch at school today. It was French toast sticks and sausage. The boy in front of her said no to the sausage, and she called him a communist. She's in kindergarten. Hashtag proud parent. What indeed? Uh, <laughs> how was that? I, uh, so you, you're proud of your child just randomly calling children communists because they don't want part of their breakfast? <laughs> what? 5G is about to cook our children. Weird facts. Nurses show triplets to the father who passes out with excitement. Photo from 1946 when ultrasound did not exist wish ultrasounds were still not a thing. They harm babies. Just like 5G is about to cook all our children. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. When I see children frying up in the streets like you do with the sausage that the boy didn't want from the last post, I'll believe you. This seems like a good idea. My son turns five at the end of this year, so I have to enroll him in school. The school has just told me I can't come and breastfeed him at recess and lunch. I don't know what to do. I feel like they're discriminating against me. I'm still breastfeeding my seven-year-old. It's why I made the choice to homeschool. Look, I'm not against breastfeeding. I think that's great. You know, cool. You do you. Um, but when they can control themselves in a classroom setting <laughs> they don't need to be doing that anymore i'm just saying it gets kind of gross especially when we're hitting age seven like what the heck this post is from a urine therapy group i've been doing urine drops in my eyes and holding a glass of urine over my eyes for short durations throughout the day my eyes are getting red and discharging large amounts of pus i was wondering if anyone else went through this that is called detox. Keep doing it with fresh urine and the redness and discharge will stop. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> what? <laughs> that this is still a thing. That this is still a thing. Like, oh my god. Okay, so there are so many places where people have perverted science and perverted things just slightly enough where there's like a little drop of truth in it and then they just kind of went running with it and you can see why people might do the things they do or believe the things they believe but urine it's literally what your body is working to filter out of your body because it doesn't need to be inside of it because it's bad for it and you think you think you should put it in your eyes! <laughs> why? And why are they encouraging each other? Why are you surprised? Double standards much? Also, that like, retweet, and comment ratio. Stop hating on Jada Smith for cheating on Will Smith. Women should be encouraged to have multiple sensual partners if their needs aren't satisfied by their significant other. To the man, you should be thanking her other partners for doing what you were incapable of. Do better. Hashtag feminism. That is a double standard. I, and it, it's a bad one. Um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> So apparently women with a Y, because how dare you have to put the word man and women when you are a raging feminist, should be allowed to cheat on people, but it's not really cheating because she needs her needs met, but guys can't do that because that's cheating and they should worship at the feet of this cheater because, um, feminism? The gamers united for this biased poll. Should gamers be put on a watch list similar to that of terrorists or criminals? Yes or no, I'm a violent person. And the gamers still voted no, 85% and 50. But yeah, that is super biased. Like, you can't say no without supposedly admitting, I'm a violent person. What the heck? It's fakery. Space isn't real. The water above the firmament will douse the comet's flame in seconds. It's a hologram. Shut the F up. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but seriously, the the amount of faith people have in <laughs> in technology. Have you all seen? Have you all? <laughs> Have you all seen technology before now? Um, now I believe that it is possible that some things might be able to trick our eyes, but uh, to believe that space isn't real and it's all a trickery and a hologram that apparently must have existed since ever, uh, that's just, <laughs> why? Just toxic things. If domestic violence isn't a normal part of your relationship, you two simply don't love each other. And these are facts. Hashtag not up for debate. Hashtag just toxic things. Mm, I feel like someone needs to see a therapist. Karen is now a racist slur. Requested shirt. Sorry. Don't be a Karen. Guess you don't realize that's a racist slur. How is the... <laughs> Oh my gosh. I really do feel bad for people who are born with the name Karen um, and who aren't being Karens. But it is not a racist slur. Like, what the heck? He wants more food. Why are restaurants not required by law to give fat people more food? I am obese and proud, and I tried to explain to the waiter that I wanted to increase the size of my meal but still pay the same, but he refused, and when I threatened to sue him, he kicked me out. I think restaurants should give fat people more food than skinny people, but it costs the same. Funny thing that you're running into there, that the concept of them giving you more food would would naturally mean it would it would cost okay what you want to run that by me again this is apparently a congressman or someone running for congress i'm not sure and this isn't the first time they've appeared on this particular subreddit you know why soy milk gives men breasts there is estrogen in soy why do you think libs push so hard for soy milk to be the main type of milk consumed in the usa they want to do away with men and manhood entirely. Soy milk is one of the great Trojan horses of this millennia. This is what I have to say to that. I know that soy milk was definitely a big thing for a while, but then they found out that it wasn't as amazing as they thought it was and have moved on to things like rice milk and almond milk and all the other milky milk milks that really aren't milk, technically, I guess. And I don't know how this became political, though. Like, what? Found this in a true crime group. We don't ask no questions, we just restore it. Perfect Choice Auto 301 Church Street. Hashtag cars, hashtag trucks, hashtag bikes, hashtag boats, hashtag jeeps, hashtag clean, hashtag hand wash. That looks like it could be a crime scene. Yes. <laughs> and then someone said, CEO of Minding Your Own Business. That's the only reason the United States isn't in the Bible, huh? To all people living in New York, the mayor seems to be committed to defunding the NYPD. I suggest you get the heck out of there because that already troubled city is about to become an anarchist state. There is a reason why the United States is not mentioned in the Bible and this is a glimpse at the reason. <laughs> um, you know the- <laughs> You know the, the, the Bible was written before the United States was a place. Like, before it, before it was, like, a country of its own and stuff. You know, you know that, right? Anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Really quickly, I would like to thank my patrons. Up on the screen, you should see my face palmers and my crazy case. <laughs> Thank you all so much for supporting me in that way. If you're interested in becoming a patron, checking out the original posts from today's video, or sending me an email for possible inclusion in a future video, all of that information is in the description box, so be sure to check it out. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!